Well, now to a chaotic and violent scene overnight in West Philadelphia. One person was killed in a shooting and crash that involved two cars. It happened on the 5300 block of Walnut Street around 1 a.m. Action News reporter Corey Davis joins us live from police headquarters with the latest on this. Corey. Aliana, good morning. So we spoke with a man who was dealing with a car that was totaled in that crash that happened after the shooting. And he says he is frustrated about that, but he is most upset about the gun violence that unfolded right at his doorsteps. Today, a trail of debris is scattered along Walnut Street from 53rd to 55th in West Philadelphia. Police telling us the people in this burgundy Jeep fired at least 17 shots into this black Cadillac, shooting the driver in the head. Both vehicles then crashed into several parked cars. I heard the gunshots around about 12 30. George Taylor tells me he came outside in the dark and saw this Jeep in his yard and then saw the damage to his wife's SUV after it was pushed onto the sidewalk. He says this is the second time in recent years that one of his family's vehicles has been totaled while parked on this street. But in the 17 years of living here, this is the first time he says he's dealt with a shooting on the block. I did have violence on the street anywhere in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. They need to do something about it. The action cam was on the scene as police began the investigation this morning. They say they found the victim dead behind the wheel of the Cadillac. Investigators say multiple people riding in the Jeep left the scene after it crashed. Police say those suspects left an AR-15 rifle in the Jeep. Investigators also found a pistol on the ground behind the vehicle. Detectives are still trying to determine how this all played out and say they know the vehicles were going fast. So as you can see, the vehicles that are on the sidewalk that were parked were moved quite a few feet. So they would have had a, quite a bit of force and speed behind the, the crash. As the damaged cars are towed and lanes reopened, the emotional aftermath still remains. Right, I'm upset because the young man got killed. Yeah. From now on. And investigators telling us the victim was 29 years old. They have not yet released his name as they continue to search for those who are responsible for that homicide. Reporting live here at police headquarters, Corey, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Alicia. Hopefully they get some leads. Corey, thank you.